Let's go back in the past, like the baobab tree. The message of rap to recap everything that he's seen. Decades we overcame, Martin King couldn't see. Hip Hop, August 11th, 1973. I'm back when the 80s birthed in the Bronx, a phenomenon that bonded a whole community together. The message was peace, love, having fun, and unity forever. So as 2011 passes and the cipher makes a statement, the Florida Folklife Program sees the purpose in its preservation. 2012 to 2013, it was clear to those who know art that's the year state folklorist Blaine Wade recognized my style as folk art. And that's when I became the first freestyle rap folk artist in history. Just doing the things that every black kid did, it's been around for half a century. Founded by a Jamaican immigrant. It's significant because that energy brought African Americans and Latinos together to solve a crime problem collectively. You see, the South Bronx in the 70s suffered an economic crisis. Crews ran rampant through abandoned buildings. Gangs were left to their own vices. Under Gerald Ford's presidency, streets lay destitute and torn. And around all this in 1976, me and my twin sister was born while hip hop culture took on this form, you see? My pops was a poet and a jazz player, had me reciting Shakespeare on stage at five. He passed away and left notes he wrote behind that gave me a sense of pride. Mom was a revolutionary from New Orleans who saw segregation in 55, vowed to move out north to NYC where black families could thrive. She had four boys, I made five. I was her youngest out of eight. Make it there, we make it anywhere. You know the phrase, we should be straight. She did everything that a mother could to protect us during these times, but she could never predict the upcoming crack epidemic of 1985. Let's take it back even further. 1969, when they murdered Fred Hampton, who want the people to shine. They killed him, cracking crime, raised the war on our minds. You see, us black legacies are behind enemy lines. Chicago police raided the apartment of Black Panther leader Fred Hampton and shot and killed him in his bed. So we say, we always say the Black Panther Party, the nigga do the thing they want to do. We might not be back. I might be in jail. I might be anywhere. But when I leave, you can remember I said with the last words on my lips, I am a revolutionary. We ain't going nowhere. We say to pig, daddy, hammerhead, hammer. Jammer Fred is gone, gone from the streets where his heart and his people are, but not for long. For the people's love for Fred, Hampton is lovelier than lovely. You can murder the man, but never the revolution. To 99 shots in 12 minutes of shooting. Shots sent Deborah Johnson land with Fred. Bullets hit him in the head, yet not one cop dead. One shot from Mark Clark, shotgun went off. Fell on the floor, dead for the shot up the door. Yes, she was in the war trying to protect the black queen. She was eight months pregnant, oppressing its murder scene. Sleeping while he hit with machine gun fire. They let them barrel spin till they all done tired and out of shots. Had to get the drop and drug sire. Set them up to wet them up, cast them to fire. That made a phoenix rise out the ashes from the next generation. I'm just waiting patient for the hex from Haiti to take effect. Script still matic, biopic by Shaka King, black films matter. Huh.
we stand together on a black army, Mexican-American army, an alliance and solidarity between white and progressive whites, all of us.